it's time to get back to work. Finally got this sawmill shed wrapped up. Um, I've been milling as well as building the sawmill shed, but I think it's far enough ahead that I can sort of stop focusing on building and start focusing on milling. This was to put my uh, uh, sawdust extraction system into place, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, let's have a look. You might be impressed too. So the heart of this operation, as far as the electrical goes, is this small generator. This is a oh, about a 20-year-old Yamaha generator I bought on uh, Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace. I paid, I think, 100 bucks for it. It was full of rotten gas, um, like everything, every other small engine. Uh, people don't maintain them, don't look after them, and don't run them nearly enough. And they try to be cheap by buying uh, regular fuel that's full of ethanol. So I had to rebuild the carburetor, clean out the fuel tank. Now it works, runs perfect, doesn't use any oil. Thrilled with it. It's uh, got a 15 amp circuit, 15.2 amp circuit actually, uh, I think is what it says. And I can run everything in this mill off of that. That sawdust extractor up there is a one horsepower motor. And I think it's a one, when they say horses, I would call that one Shetland pony, perhaps. <laughs> with regards to horsepower. It's not a coaxial, that's for sure. It draws 7.4 amps, which is half of this circuit that's beside me. And at the other end of the mill, of course, I've got this uh, fan, and it only draws 0.9 of an amp when it's, when it's running at full tilt. So all that said, I've got all kinds of electricity to run. I ran 14 gauge uh, wire, which actually were a part of it was an extension cord that I I have hooked with my tractor at one point and uh, ripped it apart. And another one was an extension cord that I found in my shed. I forgot I had, but needed a new end on it. So I put a new end on it. So I have a 20 foot piece of clear um, flexible tubing and it's clamped to a, a ABS plastic funnel, triangular funnel, which as you can see, pretty clearly there. I think if I try to zoom in a little bit, you'll see the throat of that funnel and that's aimed exactly where the sawmill ejects the sawdust and it'll collect probably 80 or 90 percent of the sawdust there's still some that gets on the floor of course but I'm uh, not going to worry too much about what gets on the floor I can use the leaf blower to, to clean that out travels up this pipe into this one Shetland pony powered uh, extraction system through this four inch sewer pipe I had to gear up an adapter from a four inch to a three inch put the flexible tube on and it's a four inch flexible pipe and then that goes on the other side of this wall sorry about that uh, terrible there we go so what we have out here are three holes put in a shelf made a just a simple shelf with a two by four and some uh, one inch boards and i have that hose as you can see and it just goes in a bag so these are 50 pound feed bags and i can fill the bags from this extractor pretty easily. When this bag gets full, I can just put the hose in the other bag, lift this part of a bucket. I've got the bucket, the bottom of the bucket cut out so that it, all the bucket does is holds the bag in place so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't fall out. So when, I, uh, when I'm done, I can put a string around the bottom of that, tie it off, pull the bu bucket out, change the bag. So I'm separating the species of sawdust. I know that sounds a little uh, obsessive, but I've got people that ask for spruce, specific spruce um, sawdust for smoking. And I've got some people that will want specific hardwood if I'm milling cherry or if I'm milling, uh, I don't know, maple or apple wood or something like that. They're, I'll separate the, the sawdust by species. And what might be carcinogenic like ash or what's bad for us like walnut that kind of thing that i'll i'll make sure it just turns into landfill plus i can put this hose into one of my large ibc bags those uh, you know the the wood um the bags that i put a, a third of a quart of wood in i can use that and i can take it to my wood lot and uh easily use it for uh, road fill to try to fill some of the some of the holes in but it'll be glad to get rid of the sloppy mess that's uh, that's back here i'll be thrilled if i can just get this cleaned up and get some crushed stone in here i want to be able to drive my truck around here i'm going to be putting a culvert in there's a little a little stream that i had dug a dozen years out of here 
ago just to try to get this tidied up and want to make sure that I can get this dried up some and I'll be able to use this land back here, drive my truck so I can get in and unload. The next project will be a kiln. We're going to be building a kiln and we're going to be putting it over here. So I want to be able to load this with the forks. This gets the best sun exposure right here. It's going to be a solar kiln. I'm going to have a wood fired backup though if I need to add some heat to it. I've got lots of wood, lots of scrap wood. So get an idea here. We're aiming oh, right here exactly southwest right now. So we're going to have sun. It's what time is it? It's uh, about quarter to 10 in the morning. Then we got perfect sun right now. It's a beautiful day. And uh, this will be aiming perfect. There'll be no, um, nothing in the way. If any of these trees decide to grow tall enough to block the sun, I've got some tools to look after that. So there, it's time to get back to milling instead of building. Like I said earlier, I'm happy with the way this all turned out. But at some point, you just have to stop that project and get back to work. Something has to pay for all this project after all. So I've also got some firewood to make. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate uh, the interest in this humble little business. This is a one-man sawmill operation. I don't uh, have any plans to get rich, but boys, I sure enjoy doing what I do. And when I get up in the morning and, and I come to work and I just giggle that I'm blessed so well to be able to do what I want to do and be able to feed my family um, with this. So anyway, that's it for now, everybody. Over and out.